Thousands of years ago, long before blood tests, MRIs, or smartwatches, doctors in ancient Egypt were already using one surprisingly simple tool to check your health, urine. That's right. They believed that the color, smell, and consistency of pee could reveal hidden diseases. And guess what? They were absolutely right. Today, our techniques are far more advanced. Mass spectrometry, dipsticks, even genetic analysis. But the truth remains the same. Your urine is a mirror of your internal health. In some cases, it might even be your first warning sign that something's gone wrong. So in this video, we're going deep, no pun intended, into what your pee is really trying to tell you. Some of these signs are subtle, some quite dramatic, but many of them could save your life. Let's start from the beginning. You drink a glass of water. Seems simple, right? But inside your body, a complex and elegant system gets to work. The water is absorbed through your gut and enters your bloodstream. That blood is then filtered through your kidneys. Two bean-shaped organs working nonstop, 24-7. And these organs? They're incredible. They remove excess water, salts, and waste products while keeping back the good stuff, like proteins, glucose, and your red and white blood cells. So, in very simple terms, urine is just filtered blood. And that's why it can give us so much information about what's happening inside your body. Let's talk color. Normal pee? It's yellow. But why? It turns out your red blood cells, those little oxygen-carrying heroes, don't live forever. On average, they last about 120 days before your body breaks them down. One of the byproducts of this breakdown is a pigment called urochrome. And it's urochrome that gives urine its signature yellow color. Now, sometimes that yellow gets intense, like highlighter yellow. If you've ever taken vitamin B2 or riboflavin, you know what I'm talking about. Your pee suddenly looks like it belongs in a rave. Don't worry, it's harmless. That's just your body getting rid of the extra B2 it doesn't need. But not all color changes are that innocent. Red pee, it's alarming, and it should be. The most obvious cause, blood. Even a single drop of blood can tint your urine pink or red. And while it might be something as simple as a urinary tract infection, it could also be the first warning sign of something far more dangerous, like bladder cancer. And here's the thing, early detection can literally save your life. So if you ever see red, don't wait, talk to your doctor. But blood isn't the only culprit. There's also hemoglobin, the protein inside red blood cells that gives them their color. If your red blood cells break down too quickly, that hemoglobin can spill into your urine. One dramatic example, malaria. This mosquito-borne infection invades your red blood cells and bursts them open. The result, dark cola-colored urine. In severe cases, it's called black water fever. And yes, it's as serious as it sounds. There's also a less exotic example, Foot strike hemolysis. Long distance runners sometimes destroy red blood cells in their feet from repeated impact. The result, tea colored or dark yellow urine. A clue that maybe your shoes are due for an upgrade. And there's more. Your muscles contain a protein called myoglobin, a cousin of hemoglobin. If your muscles get severely damaged, think extreme exercise, crush injuries, or inflammatory diseases like dermatomyositis, that myoglobin can flood your bloodstream and end up in your kidneys, where it can do real damage. So if your urine turns red, brown, or even black after a heavy workout or injury, it's time to see a doctor, urgently. Let me tell you about a fascinating case. A 54-year-old woman was rescued from a burning apartment and rushed to the hospital. She didn't have burns, but her skin and urine had turned a strange dark red. Her family panicked. The nurse, oddly enough, didn't. Why? Because this woman had inhaled cyanide fumes? The treatment? A medication called hydroxocobalamin. It works by binding to cyanide, turning it into harmless vitamin B12. But here's the twist. Hydroxocobalamin is bright red. So after it's given, it can temporarily stain the skin and urine a deep red. Luckily, she made a full recovery. A mysterious symptom, solved. What about orange urine? Usually, it's nothing more than dehydration, or certain medications like rifampin or phenazopyridine. But sometimes, orange pee is a clue that something's wrong with your liver or bile ducts. Normally, bile goes from your liver into your digestive tract, 
It's actually what gives poop its brown color. But if something's blocking that bile, like a gallstone or liver disease, it can back up into your bloodstream and leak into your urine, turning it orange-brown. And here's a key clue. If your urine is orange and your poop is pale, that's a sign of a serious liver or bile duct problem. Get it checked out immediately. Purple urine? Yes, it's real and weird. It typically happens in people with long-term catheters and urinary tract infections. A fascinating chemical reaction turns the urine a deep, unsettling purple. Here's how. Your body breaks down tryptophan, yep, the amino acid in turkey, into a substance called indoxyl sulfate. Certain bacteria in the urine convert that into indigo, blue, and indirubin, red. Mix those together, you get purple. It's called purple urine bag syndrome. Strange but treatable, with antibiotics. Green urine, usually from dyes or medications. One case involved a woman who had a colonoscopy and was given methylene blue dye during surgery. The next day, bright green pee. Frothy or foamy urine? That could be a sign of proteinuria. Too much protein in your urine. That means the kidneys may be damaged, often due to high blood pressure or diabetes. I once had a patient who came in specifically for this complaint. And the cause? Lupus. It actually was lupus this time. Now let's talk quantity. Peeing too much can mean diabetes, where extra sugar draws water out of your body. Ancient doctors actually used to taste the urine to diagnose it. Sweet urine meant diabetes. Thank goodness for modern dipsticks. But don't forget, drinking too much water can also be dangerous. One woman drank so much water that she diluted her sodium levels and had a seizure. I covered that story in our upcoming video. Links in the comments. On the flip side, Peeing too little can also be life-threatening. I had a patient who lost so much fluid from diarrhea that her kidneys started shutting down. She hadn't peed in two days. Always remember, hydration is critical. Forget rigid rules like eight glasses a day. Listen to your body. Are you thirsty? Are you sweating? Is your pee too dark? Or completely clear? Your best hydration guide is your own urine. Now, here's where things get really interesting. In a rural clinic with no lab access, a doctor suspected a rare disease. She left her patient's urine sample out in the sun for three days. And when she came back, it had turned a deep port wine color. Diagnosis, porphyria, also known as vampire disease. People with porphyria are extremely sensitive to UV light, and their urine literally changes color when exposed to sunlight due to unstable heme precursors. In another case, a woman's normal-looking urine turned jet black within hours of sitting out. She had a rare condition called alcaptonuria, where a chemical called homogentesic acid builds up. Oxygen turns it black. And that same pigment can deposit in cartilage and even the whites of your eyes. So the next time you go to the bathroom, take a second before you flush. Your body might be trying to send you a message. It's not just a waste. It's a diagnostic tool. This video is part of a whole series about what your body is trying to tell you. If you enjoy learning about the hidden signs of health and disease, make sure to subscribe because we're just getting started. Take care and keep an eye on your pee.